What's up guys? Today we're going to be reviewing Batman with the Batmobile versus Harley Quinn and Mr. Freeze. That is just a tongue twister of a name, but let's get into this set. I'm very excited about it. All right guys, so this is the brand new Lego Batman animated series set, which I love the animated series um, and I really want the other set. So I was like, I got to get this set to go along with the big Gotham City set before I get it. So I'm very excited about this set. Now this release is August 1st, but I was able to find it at Target two days early, which was a miracle, but I did go to four different Targets. So, you know, it, it's okay, but I really wanted to do this review and go over this set because I was very excited. Now this set is set number 76274. It's called Batman with the Batmobile versus Harley Quinn and Mr. Freeze. Now, like I said, it's kind of a tongue twister, but it's very... Um, you, you'll know the name and the set when someone says it. So I like it a lot. Now it does retail for $60. Now we'll go over that price a little later. And it comes with 435 pieces. So price to piece isn't the greatest on it. But like I said, we'll go over that in a little bit. Let's go over the set itself. So the first thing you're going to notice when you get this set is the box art. Now I love the box art. I think it looks awesome. Or you have Mr. Freeze right here shooting, Harley up in there, and that Batmobile going. I also love the backdrop with Gotham City. And then you got that classic Batman sign right there. I think it's really good, and I love seeing him, um, Batman, just right here in the corner too. In that classic Batman the Animated Series um, suit. So it's awesome. So when you flip it here, now I have built the set, so it's open down here, but that's okay. When you flip it here, you have that classic logo as well. And then you flip it to the back and you get kind of a whole shot of the car on the stand with the minifigs right here too. Batman and Mr. Freeze are fighting, which is cool. And then you can also see all the different features it comes with. Now, when you open the box, you're going to get a set of, um, of stickers and it'll have six different stickers on it and four bags to build. So let's go over the whole build now. Now, this set comes with three different minifigs. You got Mr. Freeze, Batman, and Harley Quinn. Let's go over each one individually and see the cool prints they did on these minifigs. All right, guys, we're starting off with Batman. His minifig looks great. I think they did a great job at capturing him. When you get up close, you'll see he has double leg prints, and that torso looks really nice as well. One thing that they did do on this Batman is they have the hard cape instead of that soft cloth cape. You can see that he has no arm prints, but I think the leg prints make up for that. And also on his suit, he doesn't really have them either. I mean... It could go a little higher on his elbow, but that's okay. It looks really good. Now, under the mask, you got that angry face. Then you have that more regular, average-looking smirk face. Now, one thing I love what they did with the helmet is they have that white on the inside for his eyes instead of having it printed on his face. I love when they do this. Overall, a great minifig. I think they did a good job. The only thing that I wish they did was got blue printing on the inside of the cape. Now, I bet that's extremely hard but it would have just really topped off this minifig. He also doesn't come with any batterings, but that's okay. One more thing to add real quick is he does fit in the Batmobile with the cape without it bending. So that is new as well. Next off, let's go with Harley Quinn. Personally, I think they did a great job with this minifig. I love the leg prints and I also love those torso prints. Her hammer is a printed piece as well, which I was happy about. This is her from the side and from the back. And the back looks awesome too. It is a dual sided face. So this is the first side and that's the second side. I think her hat looks very good as well. You know, they had to do a custom piece to get that for all these clowns. She's a great minifig to add in the collection. Next off, we have Mr. Freeze and I am so happy we got this minifig. I did not think they'd do him. Now it is more of a basic minifig, but that's kind of what it is in the show. This is the back side of that minifig. And then the front side. One thing I really like with what they did with him is added reflections in his sunglasses. I think that's awesome. It's not his custom ice gun that he usually has, but it's a little launcher. And one thing I love what they did with that is made it a white piece in there for ice. So very cool add that Lego did. Overall, I think all the minifigs are great in this set. I think the highlight of it though for me is Mr. Freeze. I recommend watching Heart of Ice, the episode from Batman the Animated Series, while you're building this set. Now to get into the highlight of the set, the Batmobile. I think they did a great job sculpting this Batmobile. The angles that they got is exactly how it looks in the show, and I think they did a great job. I love the back, how they got these cool ridges, 
and then the top as well. Now a cool feature of this Batmobile is when you move it, that flame in the back moves as well. This is what it looks like from the back. I think it's cool that they use that barrel piece right there to hold the flame in. Now on the sides when you build it, there's a piece that you can actually fold these out and fold them in. One thing that you'll notice with it is that it is blue instead of black. Now I do understand that that does kind of suck, but in some parts of the show, it does look more blue. So I can tell how they maybe got confused or they wanted to go the blue route. So yes, it does kind of suck that it's blue, but I'm so happy we still got this set. The next thing you're gonna notice is these two stud launchers on the hood. Now they're cool for kids with playability features, but Lego did this on purpose that you can take them out to display it. So they just pop out and then you have a clean looking Batmobile. The next thing I really like about this set is that front grille design. It was really fun to build and it looks very awesome. The windshield does pop up, which is great, and you can fit Batman back in there. Now you can see back in there that his cape goes down in there and it won't get um, all bent. So it's very specific. You can also see in here that dash. And then on the other side, you can see that as well. Those are all stickered pieces. None of them are printed. The next thing that it comes with is this stand for the Batmobile to sit on. I really like how they gave this sticker piece, giving the like all the special specs behind the um, Batmobile. It is a stickered piece and this does swivel as well so you can do it at different angles. And this is how it looks on that stand. You can see that you can move it around any way you want. I like kind of having it like that. And this is exactly what you get with the whole set. Let's go over the pros and cons of this set. All right guys, starting off with the pros, I'm just happy we got this set. I mean, the Batmobile from the Batman animated series is such an iconic Batmobile. So getting this set is a dream come true for a lot of us OG Batman the Animated Series sets. The next thing I really like is the build. It kept me entertained the whole time, and you know I had it going in the background watching that Heart of Ice episode while I built it. I love how they sculpted it and all the custom like little features they did with it too. I like how they added the stud launchers even though I won't have them on it. It's great for playability features. I also think they did a great job with the minifigs. Um, I'm really happy with all of them. I wish um, Mr. Freeze had a little bit more like detail on him, but they captured everything they could with them. Now, one thing I'm gonna say about the minifigs and we're gonna get into the cons right now is I don't know why we got another Harley Quinn. Now, don't get me wrong. I like Harley Quinn as a character. I think she's iconic. She's awesome. She's the Joker's like woman It's pretty cool. But we get her in the big Gotham City set. And this show has so many iconic characters that we could have gotten someone different. The two that I really wanted to see was Two-Face. I, I really wanted to see Two-Face. Or we could have seen Clayface. Now I love Clayface too. He's a great character. And I think they have such great backstories. We also could have seen a Commissioner Gordon or a Robin. Robin would have really made sense in this set as well. My next con is that it is blue, okay? Like, it, it's a black car. Every, everyone knows it's a black car. Now there is times in the show when it does look blue, and I'll give it to Lego. It's like, that, that's fine that it went blue. Like I said, I'm just happy we got the set, but I wish that it was black. I've seen some people do some mods and stuff on it to make it black or keep, keep the top blue and the bottom black. It was cool, I don't remember exactly who did it, but I don't really mod out my Lego set, so I'm just gonna keep it how it is. The next thing with this set, and it's the big one, is the price to piece. $60, 60 US dollars um, for this set with 435 pieces is a little steep. Now, I, I know that Lego's prices have went up and I think us fans are just gonna have to get used to that, but $60 for 435 pieces is crazy, okay? Now, I'm happy that we got these minifigs and I think that that adds with the value, but it's still so expensive and you're only getting 435 pieces. So my overall thoughts and rating on this set is I highly recommend it, okay? Now I know the price is high and it's blue and all this stuff, but if you're a diehard Batman fan and if you've watched like the Batman animated series or even some of the other cartoons, you probably want this set. I mean, this, this series alone set up Batman and everything that we have now. 
So I, I really enjoy the set and I'm so happy it's in my collection. What I'm gonna rate it with the flaws and stuff that it has is I'm gonna give it an eight out of 10. Now, if it was black and stuff, it'd be a 10 out of 10. And if the price was a little lower, I do think with the price and stuff, we're just going to see sets like these iconic cartoon sets like the X-Men, the 1970, 1997 set that came out. It was super overpriced as well. I mean, maybe it's just these OG cartoon ones are a little steep. Um, the Gotham City set, though, that's great price to piece. So it's just kind of all over. But if you guys can get a deal on this or you can get it for less than 60, then I highly recommend getting it. I bought it for 60 and I do it again because I love the set. Eight out of 10, thank you Lego so much for providing this set. And I hope they do more Batman the Animated Series sets. If you guys would please tag Lego down below to get me that Gotham City set and I will do a huge review on that for you guys. I wanna get it in the future, but maybe, maybe we could work something out with Lego. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like and sub for more Lego content.